what's going on what's going on what's going on you are tuned into watch fest tv this is your girl plump and i'm back with another review video this one is regarding lovecraft season one episode one sundown and let me tell you they're on it with these shows this summer everyone each one of these shows are good shows but anyway the show starts with a young man on a greyhound heading back home to chicago from the jim crow south which is florida okay he's heading back home because he received a letter from his father who has gone missing all right so he's going back into town to pretty much figure out what the hell happened so when he gets there he actually makes his arrival at his uncle's house and it's a warm greeting you know they're happy that he's back home but he's pretty much on it he just wants to know hey you know what happened to my father so fast forward him and his uncle they pretty much figure out that there's a county that is pretty much off limits and he wants to go investigate and the uncle is like you know what if you're gonna go investigate i'm coming with you damn it let's talk about letty real quick she made her first appearance in the scene with the block party where she tried to take the shine from her sister but then in the same uh breath asked for a place to stay sister only gave her two days to stay so she had to find somewhere else to pretty much lay her head so she took that ride with uncle george and atticus to the county in order to pretty much see if she can stay with a brother of hers all right so they go ahead and take the ride so on that ride uncle george decides hey you know i'm hungry i want to stop to a black owned diner i know this woman i know it used to be here pretty much so when they do arrive atticus from the beginning is uncomfortable he's like hey it's not here we should leave but the uncle is insisting on eating so letty decides hey you know what i gotta pay i'm gonna go use the restroom upon her returning back she overhears the waiter on a phone call saying hey you know i ain't served them I remember what you did to the last owner. I don't want to be a part of it. You know, come and handle business. So at the same time, Atticus realized this place was once set on fire. And they start to question, what happened to the previous owner? Before that can even be answered, Letty's running out the door screaming, we got to get the hell up out of here. Why? Because the waiter already called the cops. So they end up on a chase, y'all. I mean, shooting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So finally, a mysterious lady comes out of nowhere and pretty much helps out Atticus and Letty and George get away. So I'm assuming that this woman is on their side. From my assumptions watching the whole episode, I really do believe she works for the dad at this point, you know. So they get to the brother's house and they get there and they start to ask questions about Devons County and the brothers start to explain hey it's a lot of weird stuff that's been happening here it's a lot of witchcraft related things that's been happening here and here is all the history on it so they still decide to what go to the county not me honey not me now Letty who was supposed to be you know staying with her brother is now in full argument about her not attending her mother's funeral, which is so fucked up. The reason she was given was so fucked up, but she didn't go. So now the brother's like, hey, I don't want you in my house. I don't want you there at all. So she ends up taking that ride down to Devon County with Atticus and George. And what they find there is like, uh, what the hell? So we get to Devon County and Atticus is so pretty just just adamant about finding a certain road okay you can tell that uncle george is uncomfortable because again you guys this is back in the days during not slavery but more so racism i mean it's still going on now but shit you know what i'm saying and uncle george didn't want to be there he was just like you know we can't find it let's come on another day but atticus was like i'm gonna find this road i have to find my dad you know so with them looking and everything, all of a sudden the police pops up out of nowhere and this scene pretty much shook me, you guys. It really did shake me to my core. Pretty much the police officer was like, you know, I can shoot you guys here. With no care at all. And that's pretty much what's been going on these last, uh, how long? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the same story over and over and over again. So the police officer is like, I can shoot y'all asses here. But Atticus, he's, he's one of those smart brothers. He's like, hey, you know, you can't shoot me 
I have, you know, I have a, a little bit amount of time to get up out your county. But this, what this man does is the police officer follows them. They had a, 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 a seven minutes to get out of the county before the sun went down, you guys, for him to pretty much just let loose and start shooting, pretty much, right? And they pretty much had to stay the speed limit because obviously he would pull them over if they sped up. So for that seven minutes, driving across the county line was like breathtaking. It was everything. And it's, it, it, it broke my heart, you know, because till this day, we still kind of live that story. And it's really sad. But guess what? They get over that line only to realize that it's police along that line, too. So they get caught up anyways, anyways. And, and that's crazy to me. So now the police officers, they end up taking them into the woods. All right. Now, at this point, it ain't nowhere to run, y'all. It ain't nowhere to run. Okay. Now, the police officers, they take them into the woods. And... You start hearing some weird shit in the woods. It's like, what, what, what the hell is that in the woods? So, pretty much the attention is taken off of Atticus, George, and Letty. It's, it's pretty much off of them. Now it's like, what the hell? It's survival of the fittest at this point. So now it's a creature, or, or creatures, or vampires, I should say. Pretty much running all over the place, eating up everybody. And... Automatically, Atticus grabs Letty, gets up. George tries to get up, but you know that man, oh, it ain't, it, it, no offense to anybody, but you know how, how it be. And he pretty much was like, I'm just gonna lay here. I'm just gonna lay here. I'm gonna lay here. And Atticus and Letty is just taken off through the woods. And it so happened to be an abandoned cabin. So they, they get up in there. But Atticus is kind of worried, like, where, where the hell is my uncle? You know what I'm saying? He wants to go back, but, but you know, they out there. It's a scary thing. So Uncle George ends up finally getting up with the flashlight at the same time realizing that the vampires are scared of obviously light. So he goes in there and he says, hey, you know, I think they're scared of light. So they come up with a plan where Letty pretty much hauls ass through the woods. That girl can run, okay, through the woods gets to the car while these things are chasing her, okay, turns it on, saves the day, and runs that thing through the cabin. So she turns the light on, they automatically start to light a few flares, and then boom, a noise go off, and the vampires disappear, just like that, gone, you know? And so they get up, and now the car is ruined. Now they gotta, now they gotta walk, you know, in this racist place. They gotta walk and they end up getting to this big old mansion. They get to the front door and it's a white man. A white man who tells Atticus, welcome home. Welcome home, okay? That white man, the whole show, was following them in an expensive car. This was the man that Atticus was pretty much looking for. So like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know where you think this thing is heading i'm really feeling the plot i i i, I really am feeling this storyline i want to see where it goes let me know where you think this thing is going chat you know what i'm saying until then like comment share subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video it's your girl purple watch fest tv you guys have a good one